sorry about that, babe. All right, guys, welcome back to part four of my first ever playthrough of Final Fantasy V on the Super Famicom slash NES, or SNES, jeez. Uh, we are utilizing the Final Fantasy V Game Boy Advanced script um, translation hack, if you will. Other than that, to my knowledge, it is still base game. So, we last left off outside of the town of Carwin, and I told you guys that I'm going to be doing a lot of grinding in this series because um, I'm actually interested in it. I'm interested in grinding out the various jobs and abilities. Uh, so here are my updated levels. I think I leveled up maybe like twice since last video as far as like the overall level goes, but <clears throat> uh, as far as the jobs go, we're at level three knight. We are at level one white mage still. And I think I kept Razy at, razy has been at a knight the whole time. <clears throat> Lena, I kind of done some flip-flopping. We're at level three thief. Um, level 3 Black Mage. And Galif, I switched over to a Blue Mage, but I'll be honest with you guys, I'm, I'm not really seeing many monsters right now to learn things from. So I might switch him back to Monk. Um, yeah, we're at level 2, level 2. I might switch him back to Monk. I gotta figure that one out real quick. And then lastly, Ferris. Um, <clears throat> level 3 White Mage, which is my main goal for her. Uh, but we're also at a level 1 Black Mage and level 2 Monk. So pretty much I want her to be a, uh, an attack- a barehanded attacking White Mage. But I actually think I'm gonna switch back to Monk un until, um... And I'm gonna do barehand, obviously. Until we get to the point where I feel like we're consistently meeting enemies that I could learn stuff from, I really don't feel like grinding out the blue mage, at least as I uh, push on here during my recordings. But, um, yeah. So, again, guys, I'm going to be doing a lot of grinding in this game, so just bear with me. I'm having fun with it, and I kind of want to max out my jobs over time. I also have uh, some stuff coming up in my life where I won't be able to record as much, but I'll be able to play, so that'll probably be perfect grinding time for me. But anyways, continuing on here now. We're in the village of Carwin. What, you came from the ship graveyard? You're not really ghosts, are you? So I haven't explored Carwin yet. I've only gone to the inn. The purple flowers that bloom on North Mountain are poisonous. Okay, that's something definitely to note. Um, was there anything else in the inn? There's an upstairs. <clears throat> I guess we'll see, too, uh, if there's gonna be another piano somewhere, right? That's kind of gonna become a thing. Alright, doesn't look like there's anything else in here, which is fine. I'm hoping that we have, uh, with our grinding, we have enough gold to buy some armor upgrades, because I believe that there is a bronze set in here, from what I'm seeing. Um, also appears to be an extra spell or two that I don't know, so that's good. Um, and then there's a few items littered around uh, here somewhere. Trying to find them, of course. Looks like there is... You see that over there? How do I get down there? Have I talked to you yet? Since there aren't any ships, uh, you can't get to walls. Man, so much for the glorious age of sea travel. <laughs> okay, cool, we got an antidote. That was one of the, uh, I think, three hidden items that you can get. Lizards and other hibernating animals can't stand the cold. The kingdom of Walls is south of here, beyond the sea. They use a machine to amplify the power of the water crystal. Hmm. We must stop it. How can we get to Walls? Walls is across the ocean. It's a quick trip by ship. But since the wind slowed, there aren't any ships sailing. Hmm, haven't got Sildra either. Ferris, I'm sorry. Crazy, have you any ideas? No ships, so we can't go by sea. Hmm. So if we can't go by land or sea, then... Uh, land or sea... Through the air? Are we gonna get, like, an airship or something soon? Or maybe ride on the back of a dragon or something. <laughs> Who knows? The town has the finest port in the world, though that doesn't mean much now that boats can't sail anymore. So if we can't... Oh my god, is he gonna keep saying this? 
<laughs> Sorry, no ships to walls. The wind's too weak for anything to sail. Oh my god, he does this every time. Oh, that's kind of annoying. I I don't really like minor stuff like that. It's a little frustrating. Uh, what? Okay, I was gonna say there had to be something here. Frost rod. Um, well, she's unarmed. Yeah, I'll probably hold on to it just in case, but... I'm really enjoying mixing and matching mages with barehanded monk uh, skills. <laughs> That's like my new... my new pastime. <clears throat> Will you let me buy? The wind's too weak, so there ain't ships sailing. Alright, it doesn't look like I can get over there. Is there an underpass, though? It looks like it's possible. Hmm, I don't know. It's not looking like that's the case. Fifty years ago, most of the Windrakes were killed in the war. The one in Tycoon is the only one left. Okay. Oh, the Windrake. If we can't go by land or sea, then obviously we're probably going to fly in the back of a, uh... The Tycoon Drake, right? My husband claims he saw a Windrake flying to the North Mountain. Everyone says it's hogwash. Really now, Windrakes? But then he got all nettled, and now he's having himself a sulk upstairs in the pub. I don't know what to do with him. Alright, so I'll go in the pub last, I think. So we got the magic shop, uh, armory, and weaponry. But first, let's go in the armory. Definitely have to upgrade our, uh, our shite. It's been a minute. Oh, do the stores connect? I always like that. Uh, Alright, cool. <clears throat> Alright, so we do have quite a bit of gill here. Uh, bronze. I want to see what we have on currently. Yeah, we're two-handing now with Razy the Knight. That's right, so we, we don't have the shield. We already have... We need a bronze helm. Is Razy the only one with bronze on? I think so. Yeah. Can everybody wear bronze, though? No. Uh, he does need a helmet. Yep. He already has that. These guys can wear, so I'm gonna buy two of them. And cotton? Is that an upgrade? Over leather? I guess so. Alright, let's see here. Optimum. Uh, Optimum is so nice, dude. Nice. Alright, I guess we'll see, right? Let's do Optimum. Cotton is interesting. We have to keep removing the flail, though, because we're doing the, uh, the unarmed shtick. Um, I could probably go ahead and sell... I'm gonna keep... I'm gonna sell the staff in the rod. I'm gonna sell one dagger. Uh, I could probably sell at least one of these for now. I might be able to sell all of them soon, but I don't want to, like, jump the gun. I could definitely sell both of those. I'm gonna keep the shield for now. Wait, hold on. Was it a bronze shield? I think it was a bronze shield. So maybe I'll sell this and buy the bronze shield and stash it away. Keeping the flail. We could sell all four of these. That's fine. We're gonna keep the frost. So, let, yeah, we'll buy one bronze. And we will uh, go to item and sort because I have OCD. And now let's go over here and see what we're working with. So we got a dagger, a long sword, which should be an upgrade, right? Yeah. I'm not gonna do any of these. Do I have a dagger or a knife right now for, for Lena? I have a dagger. Ooh. Shit, you know what I regret? Not, er, yeah, words. Oh, I just <laughs> Guys, I just dropped uh, my controller on my desk and I spilled seltzer water everywhere, so. That's great. Um, well, you know what, at the end of the day, it's just water, right, so. How about that? I was uh, stretching with my controller above my head. 
and then disaster struck. I guess it could be worse. It could have been like fucking milk or juice or some shit, so. Alright. Where I was going with this before I uh, calamitied myself was um, I kind of regret not leveling up Monk for Lena. So we could know bare hand. Because if you switch back to a thief, you natively know the thief sprint. Um, I actually might switch to monk. I'm gonna. And we're gonna keep sprint, I think. Yeah. That seems good to me. And then I could probably bumper in the front now. I love... Uh, mix and matching the jobs, dude. It's so much fun. Like, I, um, I'm really, really enjoying it. I heard that the story might not be, like, the best story of all the Final Fantasy games, but I'm, like, getting so much enjoyment out of the job system. I just think it's so dynamic. <clears throat> Alright, what don't we have? We don't have sleep. I don't think we have silence or armor, but let me check before I waste money. Yeah, I don't have silence or armor. Okay. Give me an armor. Alright, well I think that... We did everything really other than the pub? Um, apparently there's 1,000 gold here somewhere, but I have no idea how to get there. Because I think it's supposed to be over here, and this guy's in the way. So unless we could, like, find a hidden path, or... Oh. What? Huh. That's weird. Man, usually when they put stuff like that, it's for a reason, but it almost seems like it's not for a reason. Interesting. Um, we can rest at the inn before we leave. Let's go to the pub first here. <clears throat> All right. There's another piano. Ah, did you get your hands on a world map? Oh, I don't think I did. Fuck. You know what, guys? I think I missed. I vaguely remember seeing something about a map in the shipwreck, and I think I missed. <laughs> I missed the world map. Uh, I think I have one in the guide, though. I don't think that's. Too big of a deal. Let me just look through. Let me look through. So at the end of the, the guide we have um pretty in-depth bestiary. And what else? A weaponry, armor, and relics section, as well as a magic and an item section. Oh that's cool, so I can look up stuff for like blue magic and shit. Alright, whatever. Not too big of a deal right now. <clears throat> Knights do it two-handed. A Windrake and Super Rare Dragon Grass. If you can get your hands on those, you'd be rolling in gill. Hmm. I hear there's a Dragon Grass... Uh, there's Dragon Grass up north on the North Mountain, but there's Poison Grass up there choking it out. So I guess there's two types of grasses, huh? Did you hear? A meteorite fell near a uh, tycoon. Too bad it didn't land on my mother-in-law. Jesus. All right, let's play the piano and level up our skills here. Again, I'm wondering if this is like some kind of meme. Where like, at the end you just play like a really cool song. Or if it actually comes into play in the game, I, I don't know. <clears throat> Alright, this must be the guy they were talking about. I really saw it! Up at North Mountain, flying around, it was a dragon, sure as I live! What kind of dragon was it? Was it tamed? What did it look like? Uh, it looked dragon-like. It was wearing some sort of armor, as I recall. Could have been a real-life Windrake. For Ryu. Oh, shit! Father's Windrake is on North Mountain. Whoa! The Drake from the beginning of the game? The, the cute one that goes Brrr! What? Why would it be there? On North Mountain grows a plant called dragon grass. It is the only substance that could heal a Windrake's wounds. That means Hiryu must be hurt. 
Windrake, huh? Say, oh, fuck. The dialogue didn't change the name to Razor. Say, Razor, since land and sea are out, you should take it to the air. We could ride to walls on Hiryu. That's the ticket. Now let's get moving to North Mountain. Well, they couldn't have spelled it out any more clearly that we had to go to North Mountain, but I, I you know, I guess we got to go through the motions, right? How do I get over here? How do I get the fucking gold, man? I'm pretty sure the gold's over here. Eh, whatever. I don't think there's any way around it. Maybe, like, later on, like, uh, ships come back or something. And the guy might be out of the way. Let's stock up on a few items before we rest at the inn and then head to the North Mountain. Uh, maybe the gold's in here. I think it's over there, though. Alright, what do we need? Um, I guess I'll buy a couple of these. I already have a couple gold needles. I'll buy one more. Uh, seven tenths should be more than enough right now. Should probably buy some Maiden's Kiss. A couple eye drops. A couple more antidotes. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna buy a couple more because I know we're about to head into uh, poison territory, right? So. <clears throat> we have two healers in our party right now. So let's just do this. That's fine. Because both Razor and uh, Ferris no heals. And then as soon as I level up, um, oh, what's her name? I'm really bad with the names right now. There's Galif, Razor, Ferris, and the other girl. What the hell's her name? I changed into a monk. As soon as I get her up to level two monk. Lena. <clears throat> I'll switch her back to Thief. And then if enemies start, like, doing stuff, <laughs> um, meaning, like, you know, using special attacks, then I will switch back to Blue Mage, probably, for, uh, for Galif. Um... Wait. I already, did I already have the broadsword? Shit, did I accidentally buy it for no reason? I think I did. Yeah, I think I bought it for no reason, huh? Dagger, Frost, Flail... I can go sell another dagger, and honestly, probably another broadsword then. That was my bad. I should have checked. Let's just get rid of it now, right? So let's sell a broadsword, and a dagger. Get ourselves a save. And I already know where North Mountain is because when I was grinding it was in this general area. So it's basically like over here and to the north as you could probably expect. Over to this side. I encountered a uh, interesting enemy on the way up. <clears throat> we'll see if we encounter it. It's like some sort of like weird Mastodon thing. It doesn't attack you at all. And it doesn't give you experience. It's very odd. It only gives you ABP. I also can't wait till we can consistently get two ABP uh, per fight. It'll make things a lot easier, but it, so far it seems a little rare. I encountered a couple <clears throat> other than the, uh, the waterway area. There's been a couple areas where there's been two ABP enemies. Um, there's a sp uh, specific encounter up here, actually, that gives you two. But... It seems to be few and far between. Let's go ahead and use the potion on Elena. And save up. And let's head in. Let's see what the North Mountain has to offer. Ooh, okay. Nice music, dude. You know what this reminds me of? When, when we get back, I'll discuss it a little bit more. Is that a flying cat? It is. <laughs> Jelly cat? Jelly cat. Okay, I like it. Wow, that's fucking amazing, actually. Are those real wings, or is the cat wearing wings? It's hard to tell. 
Ah, uh, it's the little things, guys. It's the little things. But I'm gonna let the music roll. What does this remind you of? If your answer is Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, then I would agree with you. Sounds like something straight out of Mystic Quest. Phoenix down. That's actually cool, because I was like, going to buy one of those, and I ended up not, and here we go. Got one. <clears throat> Uh-oh. The cats! I also love the fact that monks counter so much. Monks seem pretty OP, I'm not going to lie. They're, like, they really do. They seem to be the one uh, class that sort of, like, <clears throat> plays off of leveling a lot, you know what I mean? I should probably move Ferris in the back row. Ooh, 2 EBP, nice, nice, nice. Let's bump her in the back. Boom, boom, boom. She's not gonna attack as much, but she should still attack more than if she was a white mage, I think. What I could do is I could see how much she attacks in the next battle, and then I could swap to Flail, and then just kind of compare the two. I think ultimately the double attack will end up making that better for me. Gold Needle. Alright, let's see. She's attacking first, so let's keep note here. So, looks like it's probably about 100, right? <clears throat> I have to imagine that's more. It, it would have worked out to 104 had she landed both with no crits. We'll see. Let's go ahead and... Put that. And just take a gander. Hopefully uh, we don't end up in like a boss battle as soon as we leave here. I don't know how, how long or short uh, this particular area is going to be. Which I guess we could always... Flip the page and see. Ooh, looks like we're gonna be potentially encountering something almost right away. Uh, you know what? Maybe I'm going to. Just in case. Let's remove this. Alright. Now I can do my, uh, my case study. As long as I fuck around down here, should be fine. There we go. So she was on pace to do like 104. Ooh, it's... Huh? Really? Although she has the ability to counter and get crits, I think, better as a, uh, with the bare hand. Hmm... What do we do? I'm not gonna lie, the sound of the, uh, the flail hitting is like very satisfying. <laughs> um... Let me think. You know what? I think I'm gonna roll with black. Actually... Uh... Nah, I'm gonna stick with bare hand. Oops, that's not it. Only cause like, I notice that like, unless the enemies have specific weaknesses, it seems like the level 1 black magics are already starting to get kinda meh. You know what I mean? So let's just remove that, that's fine for now. And I think we're all healed. All right, let's roll. Yeah, the monk's, like, auto counterattack is, like, insanely OP. I can't say no. Plus, they get crits, like, all the time. I almost think I should make Razy a monk. I, am I going crazy, or is monk, like, OP as hell, at least at the beginning? I can't even tell. What happens if I switch you to- well, yeah, I could switch to Monk, right? And then, he already knows Bare Hand. And then, oh, he can't wear anything else? Oh, that's kind of shitty, actually. Yeah, that's kind of poopy. Oh, well. Um. I still think it's a good idea. And then I would equip... White. 
right? Eh, you know what? I'm gonna switch back to, uh, the knight. Two-handed. Yeah. Alright, because eventually we're gonna get, like, really good swords, and two-handed's probably gonna be awesome. Kind of just overthinking things. Unfortunately for me, the way I process things, uh, as cool as the job system is, it'll definitely lead to me overthinking many things that I don't need to. Oof. Oh! Cat scratch! Shit! That could have been something to learn. Um, 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 um. You know what? Let me... Wait, did I not have... Oh, fuck. I didn't have learning equipped for Gal... Oh, I fucked up. If I had learning equipped for Gal, if he would have learned Cat Scratch. Damn it. Because he already knows fucking bare hand. I'm an idiot. Ugh, damn it. We could have learned something. Finally. I was like putzing around trying to figure out how to learn stuff and it was right right in front of me there. Alright, looks like we go in here, but I'm gonna see if I can get cat scratched. Wrong guy. I'm literally just trying to get hit. That's all I want. No. As long as the enemy doesn't run away, he will attack Gallop eventually. Nah, did we get it? Wait, did that do something? Hold on. I don't know, I guess we'll see. Is it randomized? Like, am I not guaranteed to learn it? Oh, what? Is that real? So if I have learning equipped and I get attacked by it, I'm not guaranteed to learn it. That actually kind of sucks. Learn some monsters special. That's a special attack. All right, I'm going to try again. That sucked because that was the perfect opportunity to learn. I'm a little concerned about the uh, counter attacks, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, shit. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna give it two more encounters before I push on here. Because I don't want to, like, waste too many cures and stuff like that. Potions, whatever. Alright. Wrong guy! Attack me. Don't! Ah. Dude, the counterattack is too fucking strong. Alright, let's just do one more. One more. Don't counter. Attack Galif with Cat Scratch. Come on. No. Attack Galif. Come on. This is reminding me too much of Final Fantasy 2 and the Famicom. Not gonna lie. Damn it, that is the wrong. Eh. This is difficult, dude. I don't know. I heard that blue mages are OP, but holy hell. Like, th this could take a while to learn this stuff. Especially if you don't learn it right away, you know? If you don't learn the attacks when you get attacked right away, that could be fucking horrible. Well, anyway. So much for that. Wrong guy! God damn it. Nice. Almost everybody leveled up, and uh, Lana is now a level 1 monk, which means 30 more APP, and she should know barehanded. 
and then I could switch back to Thief with Barehanded, and I still know the sprint ability and mission accomplished, right? You love to see it. Alright, it's looking like that's the poison grass stuff that they were talking about, right? So let's go ahead and be careful where we step. The hell? Those are creepy, the headstones? Jeez. You know what? I think I should switch Razy to Monk. With just knowing white magic, because it seems like two hand is not great right now with our crappy swords. TBH. So I'm gonna do that. Nice. Alright, so let's switch to Monk. And let's know white magic. That's fine. Okay. Oh boy, don't petrify me. I gotta say, the cockatrice got a uh, nice glow up. They're looking pr almost like parrots. In the earlier games, they're uh, not quite as aesthetically pleasing. <clears throat> I wish I had nothing but, like, disposable income. They're starting to, like, release a lot of old video game soundtracks on vinyl, I noticed, and... Oof. The only video game vinyls that I have are Dark Souls Trilogy, but, like, I saw Fantasy Star the other day, and Simon's Quest, and, like, oh man, having, like, Final Fantasy OG games on vinyl would be so good. Like, listen to this, dude. I love video game music. I think it's, like, some of the coolest shit. I listen to it, actually, a lot. Just in general. <laughs> ah, could've used the tent. Well, yeah, well, should I? Yeah, I should. Let me use a tent. Get my MP back, in case I need to heal. <clears throat> Definitely save. Alright, we got something going on here. That's a helmet, it looks like. A Windrake helmet? Father's helmet? Oh! Lena is struck by a poisoned arrow. Lena! Yo, are we getting separated already? Magissa. Oh, I came here after that Windrake, but it seems like I caught something even more valuable. God damn it, dude, the translation keeps fucking up, uh... It doesn't bring over the name you enter. That's, that's like, low-key kind of annoying. So guys, remember that Bart's is Razor. Wait, you'd hunt a Windrake? Of course, their horns fetch quite a high price in the black market. Oh -ho -ho -ho. And I see you've caught no less than the Princess of Tycoon. Yes, you make a lovely souvenir for my husband. Let her go, you adult pated foul complexion scoffois. <laughs> Damn, those are some crazy pirate uh, disses. Yo, how are we gonna get over? Oh, okay. Ferris! Oops, I guess she slipped. Pity. Oh, he slipped. I keep forgetting everybody thinks it's a, a guy. What? Damn. Ah, uh, should have known better. Some kind of ingenuity would take place. Lena, hang on! Is she poisoned, though? Oh, annoying little twerps ruining my plans. Fine! It just means I'll have to crush all four of you. Alright, here we go. Bolt. Oh yeah, Lena is poisoned. That sucks. Let's just pound away here. Yeah, I think that was the right move for Razy. Oh, well, that was easy. <laughs> Nice, 6 EBP. And we got a whip. Cool. Uh, I was hoping we could heal. Ferris, thank you. Oh, we can. Nice. Okay, so let's use... 
Actually, let's use, um... Poisana. And then let's do a full cure there. Good stuff. There it is! The Drake from the beginning of the game. Who are you? He's hurt pretty bad. Who are you? Don't worry, I'll take care of you. Aww. Lena, what are you doing? Don't come any closer. I'll be fine. Just I must reach the dragon grass. Give the dragon grass to Haryu. Quickly. Please, get well. Aw. Oh, I love dude, I love that. I don't know what it is. My stars and garters, you're out of your gourd, young lady. That was insanely reckless. Lena's poisoning is cured. Who are you? Thank you. Looks like you're both hale and hearty again. Let's saddle up. Actually, I, uh, don't really like heights. Neither do I, buddy. Neither do I. What's so funny? Your face, kiddo. Anyway, get on. Yeah, I'd actually probably, like, fucking die. Like, if I... <laughs> Dude, the background is so detailed. Do you notice that? That's really cool looking. But yeah, if this was happening in real life, I would be, like, vomiting and passing out. <clears throat> oh man, this is so cool. I'm loving this game so far, dude. Oh, now we can just fly anywhere? Can't save on. I wonder if we can encounter enemies. So anyways, um, I believe... ...that now we can go down, right? It was, like, down below or something? So there was the town there. Oh, wait, what? Can I go over the sea? Okay, I can. Nice. Nothing there. There's a bridge. Nothing, nothing. That looks like a tower. Definitely not going there yet. And is this the town of walls? Oop. Let's pop in real quick and see. Indeed it is. All right, cool. Well, I would say that was a pretty successful journey. And now we are <laughs> basically decked out in monks. Um, at some point, I do want to... Oh, wait. Uh, Galif, Galif, Galif. So he'll learn barehanded, which then I could switch it back. Yeah, yeah, so Galif's pretty close to leveling up. That's good. You know what? Let's do that real quick. We could we could afford to do that right now. And then I could switch him back to Blue Mage. At some point, though, I'm gonna have to level up my Black Magic again. Which I'll probably do off camera. Come on, back attack. Give me a break. So it should be three fights, probably, judging by the, uh, the Big Horns. There are only one AB Pierce. <clears throat> The one thing that sucks is he can't sprint on the overworld. Ooh, this is gonna be a 2 AVP fight, I think. I would have thought that the uh, thief sprint ability would have worked everywhere, but it seems to only work in towns and dungeons, which is fine. But I got so used to playing the Final Fantasy IV naming way hack, where you could uh, sprint on the overworld and stuff. It makes a world of difference, honestly. I don't like, like, uh, the new games have, like, fast-forwarding and shit like that and rewinding. I'm not about that life, but I don't mind having a sprint button. Nice! Galif gained Chakra. Wait, what is Chakra? I don't remember that. Let's see. Let's see. So, we're looking for Monk. Uh, Chakra. Restores HP, heals poison, blind, and other conditions. Oh, that's nice. So that's basically like, uh... Like a full heal almost, huh? 
That would explain why he has MP as a monk, I would assume. Cool. So I'm wondering for the blue mage, what's like the most OP? Is it learning and learning the special attacks, or is it the actual blue magic? Because some of the blue magics look pretty good, like level 3 flare, uh, the arrow spells, things like that. I don't know. All I know is that I, I sense some massive grinding in my future, <laughs> to say the least. Um, speaking of grinding, let's go ahead and rest at the inn. Hopefully we don't get thrust into any uh, bullshit, because I don't really want to progress a story at the moment. Ah, uh, they're jacking up the price now. 20 gil instead of 10. The nerve for these people. <clears throat> Alright. Cool. So now we have the ability to fly. We're at a new town. We're by a castle. There's a tower nearby. It seems like there's a whole lot of crap that we could do. And I will be transparent with you guys. I'm going to be doing some more grinding. I want to get Razy the barehanded ability, at the very least. Um, same goes for, for Lena, who's closer. And... If, uh, you know, if it suits me, I'll start grinding Black Mage again for, uh, for, probably for Lena, I would assume. I'm trying to think. Galif is, I'm probably going to be a blue mage with him. Ferris, I'm pretty much locked in for white. Obviously, I do know that there's a bunch of jobs coming up. There might be better ones, you know, like, uh, more enhanced versions of them. I think red mage is in this game as well. I don't know. I sense a lot of grinding, and there will be a lot of grinding. <laughs> But I uh, hope you guys have been enjoying. If you have, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And stay tuned uh, for the next part where we will be a little bit more leveled up, whether it be uh, overall level or job slash abilities. And we will head in to the town of Waltz.